Hello world, welcome to the channel. I'm Sourcecoot and today I want to show you a very cool A-frame component to quickly add an environment to your 3D scene in only a few lines of HTML. So let's get to it. So first let me show you the scene I created. It's a little bit of a cabin in the woods, um, but there is not much woods going on and the scene looks kind of dull. Let's change that and switch over to VS Code. First, let me add the script to add the environment component so we can use it. Let me add the environment component to the A-frame scene and remove the original ground plane. Now when we refresh in the browser, we should have our first um, new environment. Now this environment isn't the greatest looking. It's a bit gray still, um, but we can do more with that. So if we add a parameter and we do preset, and there are a couple of great presets in this uh, component. We do, for example, forest. We refresh again. We now have a simple forest environment. And it's already looking uh, way better than it was before. So let's switch over to the A-frame inspector by hitting Control alt i on the keyboard and have a look at the different presets that come with the component. If you select the scene, head over to the environment component. We have this preset property right here. So by default it's set to forest, but for example we could switch to Egypt and then when we go outside of the cabin we can have a look at the scene around. And we see we have some sandy environment going on with some pyramids in the background. And by changing the preset, it changes the lighting and the whole feel of the scene. To give you another example, we have this arches, which adds some great rock formations to your scene. Or if you want to go a bit more alien, we can go to this Goa land. And we have this mushroom environment going on with green and purple in the scene. Now if you want to have a look at more of the detailed components, we can switch the preset to none. Now we have to activate it and we get the default settings of the environment. Now for example, we could add something like cubes to the environment. And as you can see, there are some cubes scattered around. We can add a lot more cubes. And by default, there is an area around the center of your scene where no dressing is applied. Now if we would change the uniform scale to off. Now all the cubes have a different style and we can scale, for example, the height of the cubes. Now let's make them a bit smaller and taller randomly. Now we have all these standing cubes going on. Now for example, we could also change the ground color or change the ground uh, itself. So if we do, for example, canyon, the background changes a bit. We can also scale this. If we scale this to something pretty big, we get some great hills going on in the background. We can also change the ground texture, for example, to walk on noise, which will create some noise on the ground. Or um, checkerboard, which creates some cubes. Now, if you go to the walk on noise, for example, we have two ground colors, and both of these are used. In the ground, so if we change one to more of an orangey color, we can see the ground changes to more of an orange. And if we add some greens to this as well, we have a combination of these oranges and greens going on. We can also change the horizon color. Now, by default, this doesn't do a lot, but when we are changing the fog, for example, to something we can see slowly getting in. And if you would change the sky color to something completely different. Now the sky is set to color by default. If we change this to gradient, we get a whole different feel of the scene. Now we can go switch back to the scene and have a look at how it looks. And now the whole environment of the scene has changed. And this cabin is no longer standing in a forest, but is transformed or, or moved to an entire a different planet. And that's how easy it is to add an environment to your scene. And that's it. 
As you can see, it's only a few lines of code to create an environment with lots of options for you going on. So the link for the component is down in the description of the video. If you want to see me work on projects like this, head over to my Twitch channel. I stream on Mondays and Thursdays. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or know of a cool component I should review, leave them below in the comments. And I will see you again on the next one. Bye bye.